This is the convergence of the two biggest current issues. Hundreds of doctors, nurses, EMTs, and other healthcare workers walked out of Brookdale and other hospitals across New York City to demonstrate on their lunch breaks for at least 8 minutes and 46 seconds. The same length of time George Floyd was tortured to death. We jumped right in. So I just didn't understand how that was able to, you know, go on for so long without, you know, anyone. The effort was requested by medical professionals and the 1199 SEIU union citywide to bring together the fight against COVID-19 with the fight for equal justice. If somebody like that officer that killed Mr. Floyd ended up in front of our hospital, we would have taken care of him. Whereas our health care system sees no color, no race, no boundaries, why doesn't society... This walkout demonstration was one of a variety of new developments today that show the drive for justice taking on new forms and getting some results. Don't waste the moment. Governor Andrew Cuomo today spoke briefly about police reforms. The bill that repeals Statute 50A and would make police disciplinary records public has been approved by the entire legislature. It's one of 10 police reform bills ready for the governor to sign, but he hasn't yet, despite saying this. Why does the criminal justice system unfairly kill African Americans. Why does the system uh, devalue black lives? And Mayor Bill de Blasio today announced a series of town halls between young people and the police that will take place in every borough. They don't really get our opinion since, you know, we're younger. We're a younger crowd. So it's good to hear what we have to say because we do have a lot to say. These young people say they want to attend the town halls to let police know their experience of things like stop and frisk, which has officially reduced by 98% in the last decade. It hasn't declined for me. You know, it still happens the same amount as it used to four or five years ago. Now, the governor has said that he intends to sign into law a variety of police reforms, hopefully before the week is over, he's said. Meanwhile, one of the big leaders of protests in New York, Jumani Williams, the public advocate, was in Washington, D.C. today testifying before the Congressional Black Caucus. He says a public safety system, a new one, needs to be implemented across the country. Reporting live from Brownsville, Brooklyn, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.